I was in. Could you See, show that to the boys and girls and hold it to hold it very steadily? Yeah. yeah. No. Let's hold it steadily. These are these are actually programs in which um, Operation Unite participates in. Um, for example, the Operation Unite um, we participated in ringing in bells for the Salvation Army. These are just pictures of um, no, hold it, hold you know the students being involved in it. All right, now, no, let's see, I want to see those. Now hold it very steadily to the camera. Mm -hmm. Let Alina get a good picture. you got good nerves, you're not moving it. Now tell the boys and girls what that is. So this is basically, <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm going to keep it on, I just want to get around it so I can explain. If you move it, move it very slowly because yeah. she's got to go in and out. So um, this picture to the... To the left, this is um, ringing the bells for the Salvation Army. I actually participated in this myself. Um, Miss Elena, she's here in the picture. Um, Venetia, she's actually here too. And basically, for the Salvation Army, you know, um, we ring the bells. We ring the bells and gather money for the Salvation Army for the kids in need of clothing and stuff. Ring a bell, ding dong. Yep. <laughs> We're um, serving senior sentences at Providence Hall uh, for the holiday dinner. That's actually what Venetia talked about, and um, dancing at the Hudson Winter Walk. Oh, uh, really? Dancing yeah. at the Winter Walk. Uh, touring Vassar College. That was basically a youth touring event. Touring Vassar College in Poughkeepsie? Yeah. yeah. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Did you enjoy that? I did enjoy that. Yes, I did. Yeah. You think you might go to Vassar? Actually, I'm a medical field major, so I won't be going to Vassar. Yeah. Oh. So, yeah. But it was a very nice college, though. Yeah, actually. Oh, it's one of the top ones. Right? Top, yep. And what else, sweetie? Um, dancing at the Move Hudson. the people. Dancing at the Hudson Arts Walk. Yep, we got and that one. That was good. Math touring. Yes. Um, and education again. Many more. Many more to come. Many more. Mm -hmm. And to come. Yeah, mm -hmm. to come. Uh, now can you show us some of these uh, brochures over here, Elena? Can you get pictures of them? Why don't we just leave them okay. on the and Elena get pictures of them. Is that a good idea, Elena? Sure. Um, I think while I'm doing pictures, I'll have Benicia and Cordero tell you about the Hudson Youth Government Day event that the Youth in Action team coordinates. Oh, yeah. All right. And I'll do the pictures that's while they talk. Yeah, that's a good I'm idea. Right okay. Well, youth, youth Government Day is actually when I did mention when we uh, go to um, Hudson, Hudson City Hall. Um, we get a few students from Hudson High, and we uh, shadow local government officials. Such shadow? As shadow. Yep. Yeah, we we go around and we we shadow them all day. We see what they get to do every single day. Oh, really? Yep. Yeah, we shadow the mayor. Um, oh, that's wonderful. The youth coordinator at the... Yeah, we're basically basically in um, doing Youth Government Day. The meetings that we attend, um, which are the Common Council meetings, we, we just basically reiterate it into our own thing, like which involves like the, the school. Um, of Hudson High or, you know, um, other places. Can you other. give me an example? Yes, for, um, for actually, um, last year's Youth Government Day, we participated in it. We actually give, we actually, um, give, like, applications to the kids, and they fill it out so that, so that if they want to be a part of the, um, Youth Government Day, they make the decision, and then we actually travel to City Hall, and we basically... Shadow the um. Well, oh, I think that's wonderful. Like that. That's good. About how many go? Actually, last oh, year, God. last year it was actually pretty lot. Um, Twenty five. Really? Yeah. Twenty five. Really? Yeah. And the year before, I think it was about thirty. Really? Yeah. Uh, we, every year. So it gets better every year. I think you do a good job mm -hmm. proselytizing it and telling people about it and getting up their interest. Both of you. Yes. Thank you. Deserve yes. a lot of care. Thank you. Uh, and then now, uh, what else can you tell? Gordero, you have a very nice voice. Oh, thank you. Do you huh. sing or anything? Well, I used to sing. I actually um, go to church and um, sing in the youth choir. I actually play the um, piano. Oh, oh, good. What church is drums. that? Um, the Gospel Lighthouse. Oh, I know where that is, down in... Uh, Stockport. Uh, yeah, down in Stockport on Route 20. Yep. Yes, that's lovely. Do you sing in church too? Uh, yeah, yeah, actually, yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I do sing in church, and we go to the same church, Gospel Lighthouse. You know what? Uh, did you ever go to the uh, Episcopal Church in, I think it's Stockport, and St. John the Divine? 
Oh, no, I've never attended The that. last Wednesday of the month, mm -hmm. they have a dinner. Right. And it's open to everybody. Okay. And of all the church dinners I go to, folks, I've got to say that's the best. No? Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'll tell you what time it is. It's 5 o'clock, and I might see you there the last Wednesday of January. Mm -hmm. They're going to have pizza. Okay. Oh, wow. And I think all of their desserts are homemade. Oh, that they nothing yeah. to be so mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What else can you tell us, Denisha? Um, with on youth government day or just anything you want, dear. Well, um, we'll just keep talking about youth government day since that was the subject. Um, we also, like Cordero was saying, we shadow the mayor. We also get the shadow. At one one year, we got the shadow the police commissioner. You did? Yeah, so we got to see um, what happens in the jail. we seen where the bad guys go, so to say. We see the jail. Oh, awesome. pray, <laughs> pray for them. We will. We have to. Pray for them that they start over. Right. Got to see the holding cell, you know of course. What? You did? Yeah, yeah, we got to see the holding cell. It's sad, cell. isn't it? It is sad. Very sad. And wrong decisions, yeah. Yeah. Well, it actually, I believe it's a good experience for um, the kids to do because it actually shows them not to choose that path. And, you know, Youth Government Day, even though you, you're you learning about different things that go on in the, um, the civil government and stuff, you actually learn that, you know, mm. that this is a good You make a good that point this there. This is a good experience. Yeah. Uh, how long has uh, Operation Unite been in existence? Five years. 57 years. 57. 20... 5, 10, 17. <laughs> 17. <laughs> 17. 17 years. 5, 10, 15, 2. Oh, okay. Really? That long? Yes, that long. <laughs> Did you ever meet any of the alumni of you, Operation Unite? People who were in it when they were your age? Actually, yeah. actually I have, and a lot, a lot are successful. A lot are very successful. <laughs> and they are very successful? Very successful in long term. And I bet you they owe much of it to Operation United. Yes. Yes, they do. Um, Operation United is actually, it's, they set stones in life for you to cross and to carry on and do better in your life. And yeah. They help you out in many ways. So, yeah. It's so nice you're so enthusiastic about it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What else can we tell the people about it? Operation Unite in general is just is just an exciting experience. Um, you you participate in so many things like things you don't even like realize. There's um there's drumming. There's really African drumming. African drumming. What's that? African drumming is basically you're you're drumming on a um <laughs> an African drum. That's I guess that's the best way I can explain. Oh, it. I know those great big long. Yeah, they you know yeah. they're they're big and round. Yeah, and, you know? yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and then you, you learn that. Yeah, you learn how to do it. You learn um African dancing. Um, you learn drum court. That's basically what we were talking about before with snare drumming. And, yeah. Um, so many different things you can learn. There, from. this house had a sign in front of it, and it said "Drum Set for Sale." <laughs> and so the house next door put up their sign, and it said "Hooray!" <laughs> <laughs> now tell us some more. I love it when you tell us about it. Overall, like Cordero was saying, Operation Night is a is a great experience. Um, working for Operation Night as a per me personally, I mean, now I'm, I'm in my first year of college. Uh, you were? Yep. Oh my goodness. Yep. I'm oh, first you year. continued after high school. Yep. I continued after high school. There's mm -hmm. no, no need to stop. Keep going. Oh, I got so excited there. I uh -huh. what'd you say? <laughs> you say like you're in first year of college. Yep, my I'm in my first year of college. Um, Operation Night helped me out in many ways. Miss Mosley, she helped me out a lot. She um she wonderful. She, she's a wonderful person. Yes, she is. So uh, <laughs> she uh, I learned different skills there. Um, different computer skills. Different. Did you? Yep. Different organizations. Organization is key in life. It's very, it's very, it's a, ma it's a master key in life. Organization. 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 If you don't have organization, you don't have anything. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have anything. Um, Give or, me an example of organization. Well, all right. Well, we have our fi computer files at work. We all, all the different youth, the youth, the youth and action team members. We have different files for everything. Every person has their own file. Every document. We learn computer organization. Um, 
office organization, just making sure that everything's in the right places, all the filing, everything, all the papers. Everything in its place. Everything in its place. place. For everything. Okay. Yep, that's exactly what it is. Yeah. Um, also, just learning how to be a better person. Um, oh, being that's more, nice. being being more outspoken and talking about different issues. Um, and now that I'm this youth and action leader, just be, learning how to be a better leader to people and mm -hmm. the team members also. Great leadership. Somebody said that I was outspoken and somebody else <laughs> said, by whom? <laughs> <laughs> by whom? Uh, uh, a question went through my mind. What college do you go to? Right now, well, my first semester, I went to Columbia Green Community Good College. For you. And right now, I'm going to be going to Hudson Valley Community College for respiratory care. Really? Yep. Oh, and, that's great. And did this Operation Unite help you find this career? Actually, well, I mean, I always had a interest in the medical field, but she, Operation Unite just made me push more to go into realize yeah, it, realize it, yeah, actuate it. Mm -hmm. We have College Club. Yeah, we, we have, have the College Club. Yes, we do have the College Club. That when Cordero he mentioned we went to the trip on Vassar College. That's mm -hmm. part of the College Club. We um. We're trying to get to more colleges. We're actually trying to get to a trip down to one of the New York City colleges. So, oh, really? Yeah, go well, down there. There's so many down there. Yeah, yeah. it's very. So. Yeah. And uh, what is in your mind for a career? Well, actually, Operation Night has been an, like a major impact. It, it's built a foundation. Like, I actually know what I want to do for college now. Like, I want to be, I want to go into, I used to want to, like, I always knew that I wanted to go into pre-med, but now I know I want to be, on like an RN, like oh. first, I was planning on going to Columbia Green and then transferring to U Albany, but um, you know, I I've applied to other colleges to see like what path it takes me to go to. So good, know, good. Just be like a downfall. They're both medics. <laughs> yep. yep. Uh, the doctor says I have bad news and very bad news, and the patient <laughs> says, "What's the bad news?" And uh, the doctor says, you have two days to live. And the patient says, well, what's the very bad news? And the doctor says, I forgot to tell you yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I wanted to ask you this. I would think that Operation Unite would help you be closer to God. I, it does. I mean, me because I, I, I was raised in the church. I always had a strong belief in God. Yeah. Um, Operation Unite through we we go to um the ambi zion church actually the pat in november we went down there and we did some community service we cleaned the church we vacuumed oh, the pews nice. we wiped down the uh, we wiped down the pews vacuumed the club floors got that backwards um <laughs> <laughs> we served we served some dinners to the community oh that's and, nice and we just we were in the sanctuary doing the doing the work of that's that. right and so, were you in on that mm -hmm. Oh, it's actually about three of the other team members. So. That's where we're going tonight, folks, when we finish telling you about Operation Unite. We're going up to St. Luke's Lutheran Church on Route 9. And uh, they uh, serve the community mm -hmm. dinner every Tuesday night mm -hmm. in January, February, and March. And uh, why? They have it. about 100 people. Yeah. Wow. it's a lot of people. It is. And they all burp at the same time. <laughs> 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 Uh, what more can you tell us? What more can we say? Hmm. Well, uh, and going to Operation Night from the beginning, um, it's actually shown me the path to attend church. Like, I wasn't very... A path to what, honey? To, to choosing church. Like, because I, I always went to church, but I never, like, really found the meaning. Oh. But, um, and going to Operation Unite, like, like I said before, and playing instruments and, um, playing different instruments, I started playing piano, and... My teacher was actually Christian, and he started through through speaking to me and teaching me piano. He did. Yep. He was he was you know explaining the works of God to me, and I became more interested. And oh, what's his name, honey? His name was Alex. Alex. Yes. Thank you, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> well, yep. Through I, Alex, you I know, think I that's, achieved. That's wonderful. Yep. You know, not only the things that you do at Operation Unite, but just this example right here, the contacts you make. Yeah, Alex context. is from Germantown. Excuse me. Alex is from Germantown. Yeah. He was study at Bo he studied and is a graduate of Bard College. Really? Yes, music major. Mm -hmm. oh. 
Well, I think that you, um, Miss Elaine, ought to come over here and sit where I am and let me interview you. Right. Stay right where you are, honey. I'm going to squeeze through here. It's a good thing I'm on a fast. Okay, I want my joy book here. Can we stop this or? No, we'll okay. just go on. Just keep I believe in my television myself. Okay. Right. I do. Now, Miss Elena. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Now tell me how you got started in it. Oh, I got started in it because I married Greg Mosley, who's <laughs> a lieutenant in the New York State Police. But when we were teens, we were dating, and um, we had different experiences um, growing up. But one of the things that we had in common uh, was we had large families. I had uh, four brothers and four sisters, and he had uh, three sisters and two brothers. But we had families that were very large and, and um, with a really uh, interesting background. And um, we found ourselves having mentors without even realizing it as, um, as, uh, as kids. My husband's family is very sports oriented and he had a mentor who grew up in the Mariners Harbor Projects where my husband was from who was, uh, had become a teacher in the school and went back to the neighborhood to organize the kids through sports. And, oh. you know, served as a, a mentor and you know took them to little league games and make sure they had pizza and, and play games and pick them <laughs> up and had other people come and this neighborhood was a mixed neighborhood and Italians and many different people and it had um, changed over the years and uh, I had the good fortune of having a mentor from my uh, junior high school cheerleading coach oh. who, who took us about and uh, you know, just things like take take us out to the country parts of Staten Island and see the Christmas lights and have oh, a really? party in her house to get us together. And these were really special moments um, for for both of us. So we didn't even think about it. When we moved to Columbia County, the first thing we started doing was looking to see what was happening in the Hudson community and trying to organize um, some sports and activities. And myself coming out of a dance background and in dance companies performing in New York City, um, besides the fact that I'm an RN, even though I don't work as one oh. at this point, but um, I went to NYU and was still in the dance company at that time, and uh, I had my uh, really good interest in, in the arts. So we put our heads together and created Operation Unite Education and Cultural Arts Center. Oh, you created it? Yes, yes. And uh, my husband and I are founding members. We were fortunate to have some good people in Hudson who were uh, interested in, in getting something new started so that the kids would have something to do. And I have to say, so back in 1992, when we uh, 